Photoshop Senior Edition, folks. We're going to uh, work on the flood today. So to do that, we're going to get the free plugin to do just that. So just open up your favorite browser. I prefer to go to uh, Firefox, Mozilla Firefox, and uh, I think it's the less prone to uh, virus and so forth. They seem to really stay on top of it. So with Google open, uh, just, you know, I got a little tab to go to Google, or you can just go to google.com, open Google or Yahoo, whatever your favorite uh, search tool is, and type in flaming pear, flaming pear, and here it is right off the bat, flaming pear. That's the, the outfit that has the free plugins. Uh, and the second tab down is the download. And as soon as you click that, you'll see they've got several uh, things that you can play with. The very top one is what we want. If you've got a Macintosh, here's the download for the Mac. And here's the one for 64-bit uh, Windows computers. So you just click that. And it will uh, ask you if you want to open it. Uh, no, we want to save it. So click on the save, at, uh, save file. Click OK. And it will go to your little download icon here if you're using Firefox and here's the little zip file now I like to, to run a scan on my files uh, I've already ran a scan on it so you don't have to worry about it it is safe uh, but if you prefer to run your own scan I don't blame you but I just drag it and drop it on my desktop just click hold and drag it onto the desktop and here is that folder you can see it's zipped and then I'm just gonna show you that I did run a scan and it's no threats detected so then I'm going to open it and you see there's the flood and if we double or actually right click on it and say open here's the uh, guide it's a PDF document so we can just double click it and you see it, it's got uh, information on uh, how to use it, how to um, make it smaller here so we can actually see more of it, make it a little bit bigger, and how to install it, uh, all kinds of good information here, how to you know, adjust the waves and ripples and all of that stuff. We're not going to get in, you know, we're not going to delve into it a lot because it's really easy plug-in to use. Uh, we're going to experiment with it in class. I'm just going to run a quick one for you to see, but uh, I'm going to show you how to put it into Photoshop. So I'm going to close this. You see the other uh, documents here. If your computer is 32-bit, you'll want to install this. Most computers now are 64-bit computers. So this is the one I'm going to install is for 64-bit. And I've already got it installed, so I'm not really going to install it. But here's what I would do to make things simple. I would click and drag it out. So it's, you know, here where you can see it, uh, where you can move it anywhere on your computer so it's you know readily available I'm going to now open my computer you may have to go down to your start menu or wherever but I'm going to open my computer and go to where uh, my Photoshop files exist which is normally going to be on the C drive okay as you see we're on the C drive if you look up here computer local C drive and if we back up here just a little bit local C drive and then we go down here to program files x86 go to Adobe and I think I went to the wrong place let's see yeah let me back up we want program just regular program files Adobe and Photoshop CC 2015 now depending on which version you've got this is what you want to look for 
And then we want to go to plugins and just drop it right here. You won't go to inside the generator. You just drop the flood right here. You can see mine is right there. Then when you open Photoshop up, here's what you're going to see. Right here, when you go to filter, flaming pear, there's the flood. So if I undo what you see here, let's just go back to right here and we go to filter, flaming pear, flood. Here's what it, you know, is going to look like. Normally you would see crazy stuff in here. You determine where the flood is going to go. See how high it is right there and higher still. So you kind of click down here and determine where the flood is going to fall. And then just click OK. It takes care of the reflections for you. There's really nothing there for you to determine. You can go right back to Flaming Pear Flood and run it again. You can change the all of these settings if you wish. You see what's going on in the preview. Click OK. And you see how more, much more dramatic that made the, the waves. Let's go back again. You can go up here to the color. And let's just, you can see the color effect that's going to take place. So all kinds of uh, things that you can do to affect um, the effect, so to speak. So it's one of those things that you just really play with. You're going to, you know, take a look at the, uh, the information, obviously, that, that comes with it, the PDF and you can blur it obviously uh, I like it when it's a little bit more crisp I think let's see what we've got back to now so I think it's one of those things that you uh, experiment with and have some fun with the key is to get it in the right place uh, it's not gonna hurt anything if you get it in the wrong folder just go and find it it's, you know, this is one of those things that's going to look better in some places than others, or some images more than others. Um, remember, you can, you know, create um, a layer. Let's, let's just go back and get back to where we were. And just let's do a Control J to create a, an exact duplicate of the original layer. And let's go and do... Um, the flaming pair and we'll just do uh, the default here and just click OK and remember we can put a nice little mask on here and paint and get rid of some of this if we want to so we can um, go up here and see I have not done anything because I'm painting with white so if I switch that to black I can control where this water is actually going to be so any image that you put this in you can control where that water is going to be you don't have to worry about oh I you know I didn't get that exactly where I wanted the water to be uh, you can bring it down to where the tracks are. Or whatever. Let's make that smaller so you can see the effect. So with the mask, you have control exactly where that water is going to be and where it isn't. And if we press X, we can bring that water right back up as high as we want to all over again.
bring it right back up to that rail or right back underneath that caboose that's the beauty of the mass all right hopefully you will experiment with flaming pears flood talk to you all later bye, -bye.